fans lined up outside the Al McGuire Center and bonfires blazing for marshmallow roasting are signs that National Marquette Day has arrived. Friday night's pep rally is a celebration of Marquette pride. Students, spirit squad, and young fans enjoy every dance step. In addition to the fun outside, a basketball game was breaking out inside as more than 50 years worth of alumni suited up for a once in a lifetime competition. I never hurt myself. Absolutely. If you see me around the three point line, just get it to me. It's all good from there. And then just kind of crash. Walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. One, two, three, four. I remember back in 1970, you had one of the best games of all time. I don't want to take these pink guys down low. If I take them down low, they're going to get hurt. Hey, I'm the only guy that witnessed this in 1969-70. I watched him. He was a killer. Then he went to Alaska. Yeah. And now I kill elephants. Uh, I thought I would add four assists, but, uh, you know, some of the guys just couldn't catch those bullet passes that I was throwing. Does it, does it make you feel like you're you know, 18, 19, 20 years old again to kind of get back here and get with these guys and get on the court? I'll be real honest with you. I feel like I'm 70 years old. A little sore. Um, um, everything you knew that didn't work, you realize it still doesn't work. I felt pretty good. I told my wife when I came by, she's over there taking photos. I told her when I came down, we were driving, I said, honey, all I'm doing is running as hard as I can. I'm guaranteed to beat one of these old timers. I knew there were some guys from back in the day, so I, at least I could beat them. Well, I seen quite a few of my teammates, so that was sweet. Uh, William Gates, uh, you know, I seen him in Hoop Dreams. I was watching a documentary, but when I was being recruited, I said, wait a minute, he went to Marquette. And then I seen Bo in the film who was recruiting me, and so it was just a real sweet thing. So I knew a few guys, not all of them, but quite a few. I tell you, um, it started from, again, the phone call, Will. Can you come back and play? You can't replace that. Sometimes, you know, the guys that played as we went on, you can easily be forgotten. And this is a special place that if you look around, that's over, you know, I mean, we're talking guys going back to the 1960s who played here, uh, that came out to play tonight. Uh, you can't you can't beat that. And when I think about my place here, uh, I, just, I just feel like, you know, I'm part of a special group of guys that, uh, who was fortunate enough to wear that blue and gold uniform. Where we fit is a, kind of like a growth curve. Uh, we, were, we were right at the peak of what I consider market basketball power. In fact, besides the UCLA run, which we stopped when Al first got here, uh, we had the best record from the mid-60s to the mid-70s of any college basketball team in the country. And, and then like any other place, you have these ups and downs, valleys and peaks in your program. Well, I, I didn't think I contributed a whole lot. I think I averaged three points, 11 minutes. You know, uh, I was just happy to be a part of it. It showed me a lot, you know. I'm glad to say I'm, I'm just a part of this, uh, this culture, if you will. Can always come back, accept it back. First, the first time I set foot on the court, the first game I played, I had that moment of uh, I made it. The lights, you know, the lights went dim really quick. The lasers were flashing left and right, and I was just in awe. And I'm looking like, wow, I did it. This is what I've been working for. And then just in seconds, the lights snapped on, and it was time to go. And I like, had a panic, like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. This was incredible. You know, I, I got to be honest with you. I never thought in a million years, or in this case, 100 years, that I'd be putting back on the Marquette uniform. So um, this, this, this brings it full circle tonight.